Hello, this is Robin Armbrecht with Really Robin Stamps. How is everyone doing today? Welcome, welcome. We have um, a new catalog coming out, all right? And here's a little sneak peek of it, of the cover. That's all I can show you right now. But um, I just wanted to give you a little information that tomorrow morning, this is Saturday, August 17th, um, I'm going to do a little sneak peek of the catalog and show you some things that are going to be new. So you don't want to miss that. But today is Friday, April 16th, 2021, and I have a fun project for you today. Uh, we are going to, um, I'm going to show you a pattern that, um, that you can use to create um, a set of cards and then a holder to put them in. And this will be especially fun if you like to give cards as gifts. All right. Hi there, Cindy. I hope you're doing well today. So let me flip the camera around and you can see what we're going to do. All right. Welcome, Elaine. Let's get that set. All right, I think that looks pretty good. Hello, Lynn, thanks for joining me. You guys are so awesome. All right, let me find you here on Facebook and then I'll be able to see your comments. Perfect. Awesome. All right. So I'm just going to repeat. So tomorrow, um, Saturday morning at 830. I know it's early, but I have a busy day tomorrow. And I just I've been trying to get this all week um, to schedule a little time to show you a sneak peek of the new catalog. And um, I'm going to have to do it in the morning. So if you are up, you know, you don't have to get dressed, you just have to grab your coffee. And um, Join me at about 8.30 in the morning, and we're going to talk about some um, new things in the catalog and especially the in colors. So I hope you join me for that. Okay, so today's project is really fun, and I think you'll like it because um, what it's going to give you is a pattern for just putting together a set of cards that you can give as a gift. Um, I just, I think in spring, I have a lot of occasions where um, I end up wanting to just give a little something. There's like end of the year things, whether you're a teacher or, um, you know, Sunday school, things like that, that kind of taper off in the spring. And there's always, um, occasions that you want to give somebody some thanks, right? Um, Mother's Day, there's just, um, birthdays, there's Easter, lots of new babies born. So this is kind of going to be a fun pattern. Let me show you what you're going to need to do this. Hello, Miss Claudia. Thank you for joining me. Okay. All right. I love patterns like this where you have a set amount of materials and then you use them all. And today is another pattern like that. So what you need is one sheet of 12 by 12 pattern paper and you want the two sides to coordinate all right now i just i'm keeping this really simple so i i decided to just pick black and white for us today then you're going to need um two full sheets of cardstock um one is going to be the holder and then one is going to provide accents for your cards and then you need three sheets of cardstock that is going to make your six cards okay so for me um, it's kind of black and white today but my cards are going to be made out of white and my holder is going to be made out of the black cardstock and then bumblebee is going to be my accent color all right and then I've got six envelopes okay let me make some room here and bring in my paper cutter oh Lynn you're absolutely correct I love using black and white at this time of year exactly for graduation. You're absolutely right because then you can just change this color out to whatever, you know, maybe the school colors are and then you can make great graduation um, gifts. All right, so let's start with our cards. We'll get these out of the way. So I'm going to create six cards and I'm using the basic white thick cardstock since I'm using it for my card base. 
And so I'm gonna just really quickly score them and cut them in half this way. So now I've got two. And then, so I'm scoring at four and a quarter and then I'm cutting at five and a half. Hello, Sue. Great to see you. To see your name. All right, scoring at four and a quarter, cutting at five and a half. Oops, there we go. So now I've got six card bases. And we're gonna just tuck these out of the way for the second here. Happy Friday, everyone. Hope you've got something planned for the weekend and some time to relax, perhaps even some time to do some crafting. If you're just joining me, I um, announced that tomorrow morning around 8.30, hopefully, you're going to join me with your cup of coffee and we're going to talk about the new catalog. Um, I'm going to show you the new in colors and then I'll tell you how you're going to get your catalog this year. Okay, so these are going to be my card bases, so I'm just going to set those aside for a second. All right, so my video feed looks like it's just jumping all around. I hope that it looks okay for you. Okay, so this is going to be the piece of paper that is going to give us um, basically the design for our card. So this is another great pattern where you can use up designer series paper in large amounts um, to create a bunch of cards and it's very satisfying to to use it up right and I'm looking at there are only being two weeks left in our current annual catalog and only a few weeks after that then the um, January to June mini catalog is going to be expired and I have still a bunch of paper I need to use up so I'm kind of looking at these projects as a way to kind of help me um, build up my stash of cards do some gift giving of cards, and then um, bust through this paper. So again, you need one sheet of 12 by 12 paper, and it just has to coordinate. And here's how we're gonna cut it. We're gonna use every little bit. So we're going to cut a strip that's five and a fourth by 12. Thanks, Carol. Yeah, I'm, I don't know why it's, it does that, and I have no idea how to fix it when it's jumping like that. I don't know what it means, so I apologize. Then we're gonna cut another strip at five and a fourth. All right, so you've got two strips that are five and a fourth by 12. And these you're gonna cut into three inch pieces. So you're gonna cut three inches, three inches, three inches. Like that. So this is going to give you eight pieces that are three inches by five and a quarter. Then with this strip that's left over, this is one and a half inches, you're going to cut it into half inch strips. So you'll get three half inch strips. All right. So you've got three half inch by 12 inch strips. You're gonna take two of them and you're just gonna cut them at the same time to, cause designer series paper, you can cut that two at, two at a time. And you're going to cut that into four inch pieces. So two cuts at four inches. So now you've got one, two, three, four, five, six, um, six of these that are a half inch by four inch and you've got the three inch by five and a quarter. Those are, there's eight of those. And then this last piece, we're just gonna cut in half at six inches, like that. All right, so those are gonna go on our card and on the card holder. Now for this um, piece of accent color, we're gonna cut it in half 
no, we're not. No, don't listen to that. You're not going to cut it in half. We're going to cut it at five and a fourth, just like we did these pieces. So almost in half, but at five and a fourth by eight and a half. Then we're going to cut one inch strips, one for each card that we're making. So we need six of these. and six. So this will be a leftover piece. You can set that to the side. So now I have six strips that are one inch by five and a fourth. Okay. And so this leftover piece, now we cut in half at four and a quarter. So again, I will have all the PDF directions for this pattern up on um, my website later this afternoon, so you don't need to write any of this down. So here, this is gonna be for the front and back of our holder. Okay, I think we can put the paper cutter away for right now, and let's bring our cards back out. So we've got six cards that we're gonna make. So we're going to take six of these, two, three, four, five, six, all right? And then we're going to take our six other strips. So this is kind of why you want um, your designer series paper to have um, sides that coordinate. It makes it very easy to put this simple, simple card together. So this is a very, very simple card design, but it's really nice um, when you're gonna give maybe a set of all occasion cards to someone. All right, so I'm gonna put the three inch by five and a fourth inch piece along the side that opens up. And then I'm going to put the accent color along the edge. I kind of call this layout, it looks to me kind of like a, like a composition, um, like a composition book, you know, a little notebook that you would have. It looks like there's a, like there's a, a binding or a spine on a book. So it's kind of just a, a really neat layout. Um, so let's go ahead and do that on all these card fronts. So, This paper that I'm using, if you haven't seen it before, it's called True Love Designer Series Paper, and the whole pack is absolutely gorgeous. It's black and white, and just has these great florals on one side, and then great um, patterns, kind of like geometric designs on the other side. All right, so I'm going to do three with that side of the Designer Series Paper, and then I'm going to do three with the diagonal stripe side of the paper. Like that. And like that. Perfect, and then we're going to add those bumblebee strips. Let's just add all the glue at one time to make it go a little bit faster. So I'm keeping this project extremely simple because I just want you to see how you can take um, just a few supplies and then make a gift for somebody if, um, you know, if you need something last minute or you just want to really make something homemade, um, but you don't have a lot of time, here's a way you can make a little set of cards that is going to just make somebody's day. All right, let's take this one.
and the last one. Okay, so here are our six cards. So now we're going to use these strips to put on the cards. And I'm going to bring in this um, banner punch because um, these are half inch strips, so it's just perfect for stamping a little um, banner end on there. There's three of these punches available right now and they are carrying over into the new book. So we will be able to use them for a long time. So I'm just gonna stick all three in at one time. Check to make sure they're centered like that. And then punch them out. And then we'll do the other three. So I'm just doing a little simple flag end on them. Like that. Okay, so here's what you do. So I've done um, three one way, three the other way. We're gonna just put these across. Um, just kind of think of like um, thirds for this. You can um, put it kind of like a third of the way down your card front, or you can put it a third of the way up from the bottom. Either way looks very pleasing. I'm gonna do mine on the top. So let's go ahead and just put the glue on here. I'm using the liquid glue today because sometimes it's just a little bit faster for me when you're gluing a bunch of things down. So that one will go there. And that one will go there. And then we've got that one. Boy, I see my video still jumping. I'm so sorry, guys. I don't know. I don't know what to do to fix it. All right, so on this one, we'll use the other side. Like this. About a third of the way down. It just gives it a really pleasing perspective if you kind of keep like the rule of thirds in your mind. <laughs> it usually always works for you. Okay, isn't that cool? And this one here. There we go. All right, so there are our six cards. So all that they need is what? A greeting, right? A greeting and a little embellishment. That's how we keep it simple. So what I thought I would do um, for this set is bring in Oval Occasions. This is a stamp set that is going to be retiring um, at the end of the January to June catalog. And right now it is bundled with this um, oval, double oval punch. This punch, however, is not retiring. It is in the new catalog. So you will have more opportunities to, um, you know, to get this great um, duo punch. So I thought I would use this stamp set today. So really the only extras for these cards would be some scraps that you would need um, to put together your greeting pieces. And so when I make a set of cards like this, I really just like to think about, um, making them all different occasions because that is a great thing to to give to other people um, so that they have just you know especially if they're not used to giving cards then they think oh i need oh thank you i could send that to whoever um or a birthday or a sympathy card so i i pulled out a couple other stamp sets that are really great um, for a project like this um, peaceful moments and many mates this one is retiring in two weeks. Um, I've used um, this one a, quite a bit because it's got the great outside greetings and then it has some inside greetings as well. So this is a good one. And then um, this one has been around for a little while. It is still going to be in the catalog because it's just such an awesome stamp set. So think about um, your greeting sets and just pull out one or two that have a bunch of different assorted greetings. So I went ahead and I cut um, all six of the 
um, small ovals in the whisper white and then I cut the scalloped in black. So we're going to just very quickly use all of the greetings in this stamp set. So let's first do happy birthday. And we're going to stamp that. We're going to do happy birthday twice because you usually need those cards more than any other. So we'll take that off and then we'll make a baby card with this welcome little one. Like that, and then we'll do this one that says sweet friend. And this one says time to celebrate, which is just great. That could be for any occasion. Like that. And then the last one is Hugs and kisses. Perfect. So those are all the greetings that fit onto um, the smaller size oval. And then there's these this great thank you and this so lucky to know you that fit on the larger oval that you wouldn't necessarily label um, layer. So let me flip these over and we'll put these onto our scallops. So simple. I'm pretty proud of myself. <laughs> that sounds terrible to say, but I'm pretty proud of myself that I've actually, I've used so many, so much more, I should say. I've used so much more um, all of the things that I purchased from um, the especially the last mini catalog, just because um, I've been doing, you know, these lives every Friday, it has just forced me in such a great way to um, consistently be making more cards. And I'm just so thankful because I can look at all the things that I've made and, um, and feel good about, you know, using up my paper and um, giving the stamp sets a lot of time. So... All right, so I'm putting two dimensionals on each of these to pop them up. Then I'm gonna use the take your pick tool. I'm gonna to use the um, paper piece piercing end and you can just kind of lift those up. It's really nice um, when you have something like this where you're doing multiples because you can just kind of quickly pull those off. You don't have to use your fingernail if you don't want to. That one's not does it want to move there we go let's do that okay so when you put on your greeting here um, I always kind of tell you, you you overlap somewhere where all the papers intersect which the intersection on these papers is right here so that is where you want to Put that just so it kind of ties all of those together. So we'll add our greetings. Okay, wait till you see the holder, guys. You're gonna just love this. Like that. All right, so we're keeping them really simple. Now we could get crazy and do all kinds of other things, but again, I'm just kind of thinking of time saving and thinking of um, you know, making last minute gifts and things like that. All right, so we just need a little embellishment on these to make them look pretty. So I went and took this um, small flower punch. This is also retiring. It's in the annual catalog. And I punched six or more of these cute little flowers and made them white just to match the paper. And now I'm going to bring in the in color enamel dots, and I'm gonna use the same bumblebee color. 
could also use the black matte dots. Those are really pretty. We're gonna do just another little pop of yellow. To make those flowers look like daisies. How fun is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then I've got three for the outside of my holder. So we'll just put, well, let's go ahead and put the um, dimensionals on them. So I'm gonna flip them over like that. We'll stick a dimensional. I cannot wait for you guys to meet the new in colors. Uh, they are so beautiful. Okay, so let's take these off. No, they're gonna stick to me. Ah, there we go. And we'll just kind of create a little accent on the cards. You can put this wherever you want, doesn't matter. I'm just picking that spot keeping it consistent. Overlapping the greeting just a little bit. It'll tie it all together as one piece when you do that. All right, and I've got three for my holder. All right, so done. There's our six cards with our six envelopes. What are we gonna put them in? Let's make a holder, okay? All right, so you guys sit over there for a second. Let me bring the paper cutter back in and I'll show you how to make the holder. So again, all you need for this is one sheet of eight and a half by 11 um, cardstock <clears throat> that coordinates with your you know, card pattern. So here's what you do. You are going to score. So use your scoring blade. You're gonna score at five inches and then you really could, um, just score again at six inches, but I'm gonna flip mine and score again at five inches. So that's going to give me a one inch spine on my holder in the middle. All right, so five inches from one side, five inches from the other side, then you're gonna turn it and you're gonna score at two inches and then at two and a half inches. And this is gonna create the folder part of the holder, okay? So what you've got now is this piece with these sections here. The only thing you have to cut out is this little piece right in the middle. And you're gonna go all the way up through that half inch, um, that little half inch cross score lines. Cut that out, all right. Now we're going to take the bone folder, we're going to fold this all on the score lines. And then fold on both of these. They're going to fold up because remember this is going to make the holder on the inside for the cards. Like that. All right, so now I'll just kind of show you so that you, this is gonna be the bottom of the holder where the cards are gonna sit. And that those are each a half an inch, which matches the width of the spine, right? So you've got this nice little boxed holder. So let's decorate it and then we'll put our cards in there. So here are the two halves of that second piece of um, 
or the second half <laughs> of the accent color. So we're gonna continue that on the front of our little album to tie the whole project together. And it's just absolutely the perfect size to fit on there. So we'll put one on the front and one on the back like that. And then you've got these two extra pieces of the three inch by five and a quarter inch designer series paper. So we'll add that. Can we put lifesaver rolls in there? In the card album? I'm so confused by that question. <laughs> Please clarify. All right, so this is gonna be the front and the back. And then these pieces that we cut into um, the half inch by six inch, we're just gonna put those along the spine just to kind of tie it together. Front and back like that. This project is very satisfying, I promise. I hope you're thinking about a piece of pattern paper right now that you wanna try this with. Let me to trim that off just a little bit. There we go. Okay, so the only thing that's left to do is make the closure. So this is very simple. You're going to use some ribbon that coordinates and you need about 24 to 26 inches depending on how you like to tie. So I'm just gonna measure out 24 inches. This is the Bumblebee Gingham Ribbon. And then you're gonna need a hole punch. So I've got my eighth inch hole punch. So what you wanna do is you wanna just kind of um, hold it so that this bottom little shelf here that's gonna hold the cards is um, perpendicular to the side, not like this or like that. You just want it to be perpendicular. And then just, you know, pinch it together here and punch a hole through both of those. And then do this, oops, look at my flowers. It's not time yet, flowers. Just hold on a second, I know you're ready. Um, then you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. You're just gonna make sure this little shelf here is uh, perpendicular. And then pinch that little corner and punch the hole. So now you've got holes on the outside and um, back side of the holder and this shelf. And then you need two more right here, but these don't go all the way through. This is just on the, on this little flap that's gonna fold up like that. All right, so now all you have to do is take your ribbon. You're gonna start from the back or from the outside of the card holder. It really doesn't matter if you start from the front or the back and you're going to come through to the inside and then go through the side of, I'm gonna leave about this much here to tie. All right, then you're gonna string that across. It's going to go in through this hole so you get to see the pretty ribbon when you open this up like that. Hi, Lisa. All right, so you come in from the outside and then you go across here, you go through that. Once you make one, this, is, this will be very obvious. And then you'll come back up to go across the other side. And then you're gonna go all the way out to the opposite outside. like that. All right, now I'm just gonna straighten the ribbon, make sure my ends, I've got about the same amount on each side. I'm just gonna have it lay flat. So I might have to turn it a little bit. There we go. There, so when you pull this, it just kind of um, pulls the, the sides together so your cards aren't gonna slip out, okay? So let's put our cards in. So we made six cards. We've got six envelopes, so let's put three on that side and three on that side. 
And we made three with one side of the paper. So we'll put those over there. And then we'll put these here and give it a little, little tug. And then when that closes up, you just tie this into a cute little bow. So they can, um, when you give this to somebody, then they can, you know, keep this on their desk. They can keep it like in their desk at work. Um, and it's just kind of cool to have a little stash of cards for all different occasions. Okay, trim that. All right, let's just finish decorating this and we'll put three more of those little flowers on the top, on the front. Now you could put a little um, greeting on the front, like especially like if you had a for you stamp or something like that, but you really don't have to. The, the magic is on the inside, right? So you've got your pretty cards and then you've got a holder. I just love this project. What do you guys think? Think you could do this? That's pretty easy. Oh, again, I should have timed myself. I guess I can see what time. It's 36 minutes since I started this video. So basically in a half an hour, 45 minutes probably, because you'll want to probably embellish yours a little bit more. <laughs> you can have a little gift for somebody. Isn't that awesome? Let me show you um, another um, set that I made with the same exact paper. I just changed it to pink. This was my practice um, for this video. And I did the same thing, but you know, with pink. And just like Lynn said, you know, you're thinking like um, somebody's colors in their wedding or for graduation, you can just easily adapt black and white paper to lots, lots of different great occasions. And then I had to do one with this beautiful um, fine art floral designer series paper. This, this is another great paper that just does all the work for you on your cards. So here are those six cards. Now one way to step this up um, is to take this piece and just run it through an embossing folder. So I used the um, painted texture embossing folder and I ran all those strips in through the embossing folder so that I could get a little texture there. And that adds, um, that adds something. You can add a little embellishment. You can add some more ribbon to your cards if you wanna you know, just step them up and make them a little bit more. You can certainly do that. Um, I kept it really simple today just to, you know, just to kind of emphasize the fact that you could come up with some really great cards very quickly. Again, this um, greeting set that I used for this set was um, the one I showed you earlier, the Peaceful Moments, a great stamp set for all occasion cards. So this is like six cards fits in here, but honestly, you can put, you could probably put up to um, 10 cards in here if you kept your cards pretty, you know, not too um, embellished with dimensional items. You could probably even fit 10 cards in one of these. I wanted to show you how eight cards fits. Um, and then if, okay, so you remember a few weeks ago, we did a one sheet wonder um, class and that was using a piece of 12 by 12 paper. So let's say you didn't want to use um, to make the cards like this. You wanted to just kind of make them a little bit more interesting. Um, you could do something else. You could use like a one sheet wonder, which makes eight cards. And so I had eight cards made with this beautiful, well suited paper. So this would be something you could, you know, um, give to a man. And so this just makes eight cards, which fit in here just as easily as the six. So I think you can really stuff this thing full. Here's the other four. So if you wanted to do something where they all looked a little bit different, you know, pull in the one sheet wonder idea. There we go. Yay. All right, so 
I hope that you um, can think of an occasion that you need to make some cards for and that you want to kind of dive in and pull out some patterned paper and whip up some cards. So I encourage you to do that today. As always, thank you so much for watching today. I appreciate your time and I appreciate your love of stamping and have a great rest of your day. Happy stamping. Bye.